What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome to episode two, Rebuilding the Carolina Panthers. Quick reminder, hit that like button down below. So we are taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We have a chance to really get them on their heels and stunt the hype that is the Tom Brady move down to Tampa. We can also create some buzz here and go 1-0. So can Teddy Bridgewater get the job done? We have an upgrade. It's our long snapper. We're just going to pretend that didn't happen. Uh, so we're just going to hop in here and take it on the Bucks. we got play the moments mini game. So this means three play the moments, a maximum of one full drive. And I am actually going to change our defense to Dallas's because the Panthers playbook is actually a multiple look, which we don't currently want to run. Uh, so here we go. Keep pounding. Moving fast here. We are driving. We're gonna let this go. We are down seven nothing. They are driving again. Down 14 nothing, 21 nothing. Off to a really rocky start. Wow. Not looking good here, guys. Uh, red zone alerts, finally. Let's do this. Probably gonna go for two if we can pound this in. It is third and two. Definitely four down territory at this point. Clock is running. Let's get this up to seam. Just one linebacker there. Let's call that time out here. Yikes, stuffed. Go, go, go. Oh, nice feed. A little quick in, Curtis Samuel, good job. All right, let's, uh, hang on, I wanna go for two. Oh man, what press coverage there. Wow, DJ Moore just got absolutely bullied. I was completely re relying on the timing of him to come open there on that slant. So we're going to head into half down three scores, which is not ideal. We do still have a full drive. We get to play within the two-minute warning if it's, you know, feels right. Custom play options, play key moments. All right, come on. Let's go, guys. Jeez, it's, it's not our night. This is... Uh, this is a good old-fashioned beatdown by a Tampa Bay team that just <laughs> did not want to start 0-2. Six turnovers on the day. This is not what we were hoping for, let's be honest. But can Christian McCaffrey salvage it? Oh. <laughs> it's only two picks for Teddy. It looks like we had some fumbling issues today. Just kind of trying to salvage a little momentum here into week three, but man, this is uh, this is why it's called a rebuild. Really good play there by Curtis Samuel. Curtis is busy out here. 10 receptions, wow, at least something good is coming of this. Let's change this to a dig, maybe really f feed uh, Curtis Samuel here. Eh, squeeze it in there, oh, he got it, Curtis Samuel. <laughs> All right, something exciting coming from this. We do technically still have a moment if we want to use it, but I have a feeling this one's gonna end, yes. So Tom Brady, Bruce Arians and these Buccaneers just sticking it to us. Teddy throws two picks. Who was fumbling out there? Robbie Anderson and Curtis Samuel. So while he had a good game, he did fumble. Um, really no run game to speak of there, but I do like what I saw there. Wow, 10 receptions for Robbie Anderson as well. The defense, we had no sacks tonight. One pick for Jeremy Chin though. All right, nine tackles. 
So the box score could have been worse, but the final score probably could not have been much worse. Definitely got to go back to the drawing board there. Now I do wonder after that performance from Curtis Samuel if we might get a breakout opportunity next week, which would mean we get to play 15 snaps with Curtis Samuel. We'll, we'll see. Here we go. We're going to advance to week three. Not a breakout for Curtis Samuel, but perhaps even more significant, Jeremy Chin gets a breakout, which means we have 15 snaps this week against the Arizona Cardinals to potentially get star development for Chin, which would be massive. We need a pick, a forced fumble, a TFL, or a sack. I think we can get it done. Now it is scouting week. I got to thank my man, college football guy. He's helped me with the roster, and now he's helping out with this draft class. He went in and moved around some of the ratings just a little bit. He moved around some of the development traits. So we're going to start by scouting these quarterbacks. I uh, even added Trey Lance in there from North Dakota State. So got another shout-out to College Football Guy for fixing that. So we've got that class taken care of. Um, right now, our mind is not really on the draft, but we do have to fill out those. But we'll start paying some closer attention to some of those quarterbacks, guys like Trevor Lawrence. As the season moves along, we do have some renegotiations that we can uh, start here. Let's just take a peek at what we can expect. Both our tackles are up. I do think Taylor Moten is someone we're going to want to extend. we got these veterans, Curtis Samuel after that big performance, uh, and then some of these other guys we brought in. Nothing too crazy to deal with this year, though. Itor Gross Matos did get an upgrade. I think I'd like to focus on his finesse moves a little bit. He's a good power rusher at the moment. Nice, two finesse. So we are a better overall than the Panthers. We are only playing 15 snaps here with Jeremy Chin in an effort to get his star development. And we have to use this camera angle. That's my other rule. Oh, we got a TFL, but it wasn't me. That's one. Keep an eye on sticks here. Oh, that's a, that's a run. Good D, guys. That's two. All right, let's go cover two man again. Oh, ho, 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 ho. dangerously close. All right, well, at least we forced a three and out. That was three snaps. We get on, go down and get a field goal. We're back on D. Keep an eye on the run here and the pistol. Oh, we got blown up. Is that the fullback that hit us? Nice little lurking zone here. Oh! I read it well, we just couldn't get there in time. All right, up to five snaps, third of the way. See if we can get it out of more of a nickel corner position here. Oh, oh, if it's a jet. Ugh. That's six snaps. All right, we're gonna blitz this time. Oh, we got through, but DeAndre Hopkins. Seven. Man coverage. That's eight. My shoulder pads look ridiculous. Come on, Kyler, test me. There's nine, basically in a linebacker role here against the trips. Oh my gosh, if that was a good pass, we had it. What are we at, 10? Third and eight. Oh, that's a TFL, but I think he, gosh, just get out of our way, 24. We had a TFL there. All right, we have four plays left. We are gonna pick and choose at this point. Let's see, we're driving. Nice long drive, but only a field goal. So I want like third downs are gonna be our most opportunistic moments. Here's third and six. Come on. Actually, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna skip ahead because if we can get them to be in a position where they're pushing a little more, Kyler can. All right, we got the lead. That's opportunistic. Let's jump to the fourth quarter. Come on, offense. Ugh, gross. There you go. There you go. Now let's take this a little slower. So we have the ball. Good drive here. Go all the way. Put it in. Nice. All right, now we want third downs and red zone. Third and inches, eh. 
They're driving. They now have second and four. Okay, we're going to play from here. Oh, come on. Yes! Woo! We did it, baby! Let's go! We got a TFL. We got a sack. He's fired up. I did not think we were going to get it. That was clutch. Great defense. All right, let's see if we can actually use these last few snaps to our advantage here. Get over there. If we could come up with a pick here and, like, actually contribute to a victory, that would be insane. Protect the sticks, guys. Protect the sticks. <gasps> oh, my God. Go. Oh, my God. We actually did it. I couldn't have drawn that up any better. Let's go. I'm sorry, Kyler. I still love you. But, oh, my God, Jeremy Chin. We talked about, is he the next Josh Jones, or can he develop into a Jamal Adams type of player as that big-bodied safety? And that is about as good of a start as we could have asked for. Oh my goodness. All right, let's hope this team can finish the job. Wow, talk about hype. That was one of the more epic moments in TFG Rebuild history. I love this new 15 play scenario deal. And uh, the, the Cardinals drove down and almost scored there, so we needed that pick six. Oh my God. What a win. So Teddy just kind of keeping that game managing role going. Christian McCaffrey goes down. That is not good. Defensively, we got a sack and a pick from me, and that's about it. Shaq Thompson did have a pick. But a pretty quiet box score. You got to hope that Christian McCaffrey is not going to be gone for too long. It's a big part of this offense. Well, there you have it. And 5,000 XP along with it. So two and one, and we take on the Arizona Card. Uh, sorry, we take on the Houston Texans next week. Jeremy Chin gets four upgrades. Oh my goodness! So four run support upgrades. He is going to be much much better after that. Five zone coverage. What? Let's go. This is hype. Nice. Nice. All right, so a five overall boost from four upgrades. He gets a total of seven zone coverage. What? What a week. And to get that breakout this early, there's a chance that he might get like a superstar breakout at some point, which would really be pointing in that Jamal Adams direction. So we're dealing with J.J. Watt this week, and... Uh, I am going to use this week as our offensive playage. I know it seems a little early, but we're actually generating quite a bit of hype here. And timing-wise, that would make for a good wrap on this episode. So we're going to play every offensive snap of this game. I don't think there are any depth chart changes we need to make. This offense has been about what I expected. You know, Teddy Bridgewater has been almost exactly what I would have would have felt like he would do. Just kind of managing games. Looks like Christian McCaffrey is healthy. We didn't get anything about that. Now, Curtis Samuel's having an excellent season. DJ Moore, Ian Thomas slowed down a little bit from that first week, but he's still doing well. And then defensively, Jeremy Chin off to an incredible start. Two picks, 26 tackles, that sack. So, you know, we're, we're talking about defensive player of the year. We're thinking about best D-back. We're thinking about all that stuff with Jeremy Chin already, which is awesome. Uh, but here we go. We've got to keep pace with Deshaun Watson and this offense this week. And sure enough, they come out and lead with a touchdown drive. Michael Bennett signs with the Houston Texans. Made a good play on that one. Just trying to cut back inside. Robbie Anderson, move the sticks, baby. Good play. Good read, Teddy. And we overthrew him. Tried to do a little bit too much with Teddy. You gotta be careful. Can't uh, you can't really make that throw. He threw it too high, gets picked off. Defense backs us up though. They get us the ball back. So nothing to sweat. All right, they're rotating over. 
This, to me, feels like they're blitzing that corner, which if we can send Samuel up the middle there, we should have a free shot to Robbie Anderson here. Oh, Stan. Let's go. Teddy making up for his lack of ability to hit the throw with an excellent pre-snap read. Just enough sending the slot guy up the seam to keep that safety honest. And Robbie Anderson showing off that deep ball potential. All right, now we're talking. Yikes, get the ball, get the ball. No, Teddy, I can't have you being a turnover machine like that. Now that's totally on me, but also hold on to the ball, Teddy. All right, focus offense, come on. Still very early. That's not going to do it. That is not going to cut it. All right, let's reset offense. Come on. Oh, 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 go! Muhammad Wilkerson. This Texans defensive line is just beefing up with these vets. And let's just take that check down. Other than that pick and the fumble, Teddy's been clean. Oh, Robbie. All right, all right. So far, that signing of Robbie Anderson. You wouldn't expect Robbie Anderson and Teddy Bridgewater to really connect, being a deep ball guy and a short, short passing threat, but it's working so far. It's actually a pretty good throw by Teddy. Ian Thomas just decided not to go for the football. Second and 10, a little uh, trickery here. A counter, bubble type deal. Ooh, nice, nice, give me a block, give me a block. Curtis Samuel, nice play. I like it. Good play call, Matt Rule. Got the backups in, we're tired. Let's just run it. Give me a good pull here, Greg Little. Give me a good pull. At least we got a yard. I'm gonna call timeout. We are exhausted. Ooh. Four down territory potentially. Jeez. Alright, we're going. Nice. Good pass protection. O line. Beautiful. Just might be DJ Moore's first touchdown of the season, too. These playmakers are doing stuff. See, this is why we wanted to play this week. This offense is electric, and we have got to keep pace. I don't know if computer-controlled Teddy Bridgewater is prepared to do that. Nice play. Settled in on offense a little bit here. But this D-line with these vets is just owning us right now. This could be a blitz. Keep an eye on Curtis Samuel here. Let's keep Davis in the block. I actually want him over here. I think this guy might be coming. Yep, there he comes. Oh, hold on to the ball, Curtis. Come on. It's a good read by Teddy, but just didn't execute. Maybe the defense can do something for us. Can't keep giving up touchdown drives. Jeez. Unreal. Watson is just having a day against this defense. Time out. Still score some points here before half. Oh my gosh, Teddy, where are you throwing that thing? It's just a hitch. Oh, can we hit Robbie Anderson here again? I think we can. Protect for us, guys. We're gonna we're gonna pump fake to Ian Thomas. Oh, he stepped out. Nice throw by Teddy though. 
The pump fake, I think, got the safety to bite for just a second. Houston could probably be a little more discreet about those corner blitzes. They're reviewing it. He was in for sure. All right, if we can come away with a touchdown here, that'd be very nice. They're blitzing. They are blitzing. We are going to move McCaffrey over here. Let's just clear out. Oh, the blitz didn't come. Oh, keep your feet in. Oh, come on, Samuel. You are killing us right now. It was there, dude. Here comes the blitz. Come on, Curtis. Come on, Curtis. Go get it. Oh, he dropped it again. He's getting open. We have our timeout, but we definitely don't want to walk away empty-handed here. Oh, Robbie Anderson. What a route. Just roasted 28. Let's go. What a first half. Can the defense do anything now? We're actually, we actually get the ball right back. Nice. Go, baby. Go. Nice run. Best run of the day. Easily. Just get him in space. Let him make a play. Wow, that was good coverage by Roby. Looks like cover four. Oh, he almost ran away from him. Robbie Anderson is just our number one right now. Let's flip this. Oh, geez. Good play by Cunningham. Oh, no. All right. At least the corner came back. I threw it a little bit too early, but that comeback was coming open against the man coverage. I just threw it too early. All right. Probably four down territory here. Nice play. Good job, Thomas. Good read, Teddy. First catch of the day for Ian Thomas. Come on, keep your feet in. Gosh, how many times is... Uh, that's like vintage Curtis Samuel, though, right? Can get open but drops and can't keep his feet in. Like, that is just vintage Curtis Samuel that we're dealing with today. Let's just take that check down. He is costing us points, though. This is man coverage. Curtis should be open again. It's not. It's zone, but he's going to be open anyway. Oh, good play by 36. Didn't get enough depth there in my throw. All right, let's just take the field goal. Need this defense to do something, but that was a nice little drive. Good job. This is cover two. Let's flip this. Maybe I'll hit that post. I think it is. Let's go max protect. Nice play. Just a humble bounty hunter. Great read. Teddy's pre-snap has been pretty nice today. All right, might be able to get DJ Moore here. Let's block McCaffrey. Good play. Houston is just not disguising their pre-snap blitzes very well. And Teddy is just all over it. Oh, shoot. I'm not used to A being the hot read. That was all my fault. Let's just chalk it up to a bad read by Teddy. We got numbers. Give us some blocking, guys. Let's bring Anderson way out here. Hopefully he blocks that corner. Jeez. Christian McCaffrey doing what he does best, but he did not have to be so difficult. We had the numbers out there, and we decided not to block anyone, but McCaffrey says, I got this, guys. I got this. Nice run. And we're back on offense. This defense really came to play in the second half. Good adjustment by the coaching staff. Let's just run this. Got to block that up better if they're going to show three-man front, guys. Oh. 
Oh, Teddy, that was a touchdown. It was a touchdown. Come on, Teddy, two gloves. Run it, run it, run it. Let's go. This offense has settled in, and Teddy is stealing the show. Good job, McCaffrey. Good job. All right, into the fourth quarter. We can finish this. First down. It's going to be close. Good job, Curtis. They gave it to him. Just keep that clock running. J.J. Watt blows it up. Let's hold that safety here. Should be able to hit this slant pretty easily. Uh, or, or, Mike Davis is just going to run up the seam. All right. Probably would have been a touchdown if it was Christian, but it's all good. Should we power it up with Gus Edwards? We didn't sign you for nothing. One yard to go. Well, I didn't need your power for that, but good blocking, guys. All right, the backup running backs. Running backs are stealing the show here in the second half, but, geez, Deshaun Watson is keeping up the pressure. We have not had much luck between the tackles. Go, Robbie, go. You're not getting caught. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Ooh. A late hit, ref. <laughs> he says, F you. That was a touchdown. Just slaps him in the back. <laughs> 45 points. Oh my gosh, and we've needed every single last one of them. All right, that's uh, in a four minute drill type deal where you're trying to conserve the clock. Uh, eight, nine yard carry on first down is about as good as it gets because now we just run it, chew that clock down. Third and inches. There you go, Christian. Way to get it. All right. Just need one more first down, and this one is over. We don't trust our defense, so let's not let them get back on the field. They're having an awful day. Let's go with a little jet sweep to Curtis Samuel here. Ooh, I like how it looks, too. They're blitzing the opposite side. This could work really well, actually. As long as J.J. Watt doesn't blow it up. Oh! <laughs> It <laughs> turned into a cluster. All right. Definitely don't want to pass. Oh, good hole. Good blocking. There you go. Gus Edwards seals the deal. And the XFL MVP is going to come off the bench for his first NFL snaps and kneel this thing out. PJ Walker, thanks for finishing the job for us. What a day for Teddy Bridgewater in this offense. The defense has a little bit to answer for, but it was Deshaun Watson. Clearly Houston not missing DeAndre Hopkins. Bill O'Brien able to make that offense work. Maybe it's the defense they need to worry about. But that's not our problem. We are going to climb to a surprising 3-1 here in year one. Matt Rule in his return to Texas Gave the fans the Big 12 show that they could only have dreamed for. 45-42. to 42, No defense needed here. Robbie Anderson. What a day. Teddy Bridgewater. 424 yards. One interception. McCaffrey ends up with a solid day. Brian Burns does get two sacks, so at least something's going to come of the defensive side of the ball. But obviously that type of defensive performance is a concern. But when the offense plays like that, you're not going to complain about it. And DJ Moore is going to get an upgrade, even though he's having a quiet start to his season as our number one wide receiver. It's going to auto Tyler Maz here. 
So that's going to do it for episode two. Exciting start, man. Three and one. It looks like we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers again on our horizons. Robbie Anderson really blowing up here. Um, we, uh, we, we, this is getting interesting because we were expecting a rough start, uh, but we've had some guys really step up, including that man right there, Jeremy Chin. So starting to get interesting here. Can we really be a winning team in the first season? Uh, we'll, we'll wait and find out. Hit that like button down below, guys, if you're enjoying the series. This was honestly one of the more fun rebuild episodes I've recorded in a long, long time. So uh, cheers, guys. We'll see you after the next one. Peace out.